Welcome back to another episode of my Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play! We've just done a whole bunch of, well not really a whole bunch, I think we've done three or four side quests, and we're going to go do some more. Let's see here. Solved by the bell. Use the magical map to find the treasure. A valuable item in Henrietta's hideaway was a musical map. I should seek its treasure. Alright, let's go do that. Uh, there's no way to follow this nowhere. Okay. Um, so, let's see your map. Uh, not this map, perhaps. Let's see here. We can get rid of that there. Uh, we want to go to our inventory. Well, before we do all that, let's see here. Challenges. Quest challenges. Let's see here. Lucky Leprechaun. Okay. Uh, we also have some things here in, well, gear. We should probably go sell all our gear, too, because we got, like, a lot of gear here. Um, collections, let's see. Enemies. Enemies, enemies. These ones. Are there any more? I think that's all of them. Appearance items, let's see here. Is that uh, nope, there's more. Oh, all of these. There are still more. My bad. Take these. Okay. Uh traits. And conjurations. I can't wait to unlock all of these and just like decorate my my um my room. Okay. So let's head over to Hogsmeade. One second here. All right. Glad drags. So our gear, let's see here. Uh, I suppose maybe, uh, do we have any gear that's, yeah, we do have some stuff that's unidentified. I forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to uh, Hogwarts and to the Room of Requirement. Here we are. So identify this. All right, now let's go through all of my stuff. Then we'll head over to Glad Rags. So nothing good here. Nothing good here. Nothing good there. We'll take that. Can't use this one yet. Okay. Let's go to Glad Rags at Hogsmeade. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Those that go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first. Please uh, come in. Let me know Indeed. if you need help finding anything. Sell these things. 
I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. <sighs> I don't want that. Don't want that. And we'll hold on to this for later. Okay, so. Uh, hats. Let's see here. No good hats. Face wear. Uh, outfit here. Robes. Gloves. All right, we'll buy those. What about this? That's 92. It's 99. This scarf's 98. We'll buy this one for later. That's we'll buy this. And we'll buy these. There we go. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Indeed. Equip those. Uh, this, which means we don't need that anymore, and that, okay. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. Sell some things, like this, and this. Holding on to that for later. Sell this and sell that. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay, so that musical map. Inventory. Musical map. Right, okay. Uh Okay. Give me a second here. Music, let's see here. So I need I think I can just use this for that. There we go. Let's mark out the bars. One two, three, four, and five. Okay. So, here. So those are quarter notes, that's a half note, another quarter note. I think these are quarter notes. I forget what the one with the dots mean. I, mean, I know you hold it for a little bit longer than what, what, what the actual note is. I think it's for an extra half a beat. Okay, I think I got that written out. Map. World map. I'm going to say it's probably over here. Also, I just noticed something on the map. Um, looked a bit broken. I'll open up the map again, see if it's still there. 
Yes, this right here. All right, Clagmore Coast. Check our inventory here. Our musical map. Looks like we're in about the right spot. Now we're looking for some bells. Uh, inventory again. Okay, so, yeah. The left bells are on the bars. The, the right bells are between them. Gotcha. Bells. That looks like the bell's right over there. Nope. There's... That looks like the bells, maybe? Like the spot from the treasure map. Indeed. Alright, well, let's see here. Slow and Ashwinder Executioner as they release their lightning spell. Gotcha. And, sure to stoke the flames with and disarm an enemy. Let's play, shall you let no Expulso! Looking for an executioner. You're an assassin. Let's see. Would you be needing a hypocrite? Needs to disarm an enemy. Accio. Accio. Disarming an enemy. Expelliarmus! Alright, let's see here. Executioner. Why is this thing not popping up? Levioso. Oh, there we go. Now it's popping up again. Pulso. Stupefy. Rise and fight. Pulso. Sendio. Confringo. Accio. Stupefy. Accio. Tego. Stupefy. Pringo. There's the executioner. Accio. 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 Fringo. This has become. Accio. Arrest the momentum. Accio. Confringo. Stupefy. <laughs> Y'all ain't so tough. Revelio. There's one more up there. Accio. 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 <laughs> Confringo. Revelio. 
Revelio. Alright, let's see here. There should be two chests here for some traits. It's that one. And one right here. There we go. Alright, where were those bells? Hell's bells. Right here, okay. So, that one, 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 and that one. That did it. All right, what happened? Where? Revelio. Interesting. Oh, hello. And look, treasure. Hmm. Ringo. Well, anyways, that's done. Let's see here. What's next? Uh, quests. Uh, the, the alien keys, right? So, let's go to our map. Uh, quests over here. Let's hit up this one. Birds of a feather. Indeed. Speak with a woman in uh, Muramwin. I'm not sure how I fare in a little place like this. Hey, you. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. I know what that is. Ah, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino Derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. So you're going to behead the, the, the albino Derricle, are you? <laughs> I could keep her. Sounds as if she needs rescuing. I know the perfect place. The perfect place is with me. Wait until the neighbors see her. Not to mention how Fashionable I'll be with those beautiful feathers. 
I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Why not try to save all the Derricals? I'm excited on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals. Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. What does the Derrickal Den Can look you like? Tell me what the Derrickal Den looks like. It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Derrickals lolling about. <laughs> Lol. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Out for a large white Derrickal. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. I don't know if I trust you. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. Alright, that way. I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. This must be the Dirakul then that Miss Moffat told me about. There she is. Now, where is Gwenaira? Come here, you. Got her. Now I need to let Miss Moffat know. Muppet. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Oh, hello! Any luck finding Gwenaira? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? It was a challenge. She was difficult to track down, but I managed in the end. Believe me, I know. Well, may I have her now? I'm keeping her. Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was me! idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Oh, the cheek. Now, what shall I do? Without her feathers, I can't finish any of my fashion designs. You sound like you a poacher. Foul napper. I hope she picks your eyes out. Well, that could ever. Okay, let's see here. Got ourselves a quest over here. Rococo. I think I'll just fly over that way. Might be faster considering the loading screens. Agnes Coffee. Agnes Coffee, how are you? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely uh -huh. company. Whilst on uh -huh. our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled uh -huh. upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that oh. Henrietta was a paranoid recluse. 
filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. Tell me more about Henrietta. We were just there, weren't we? Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth oh. drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you get him yourself? Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. Well, then it sounds like you don't really love Rococo, do you? I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. May I see your you wares? What brought you here today? Okay. Oh, just a bunch of uh, garbage. That I don't need your garbage. Goodbye. Intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate for a cocoa's sake. Where is it? Well, over that way. Huh. Off we go. I need to get fog lights on this broom. Yes, we've been here already. This must be the castle where Miss Coffee's Niffler ran away. Ashwinders. I'd better find a way around them. Or perhaps through them. This is where we were when we did the uh, Hippogriff Marks the Spot quest. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Revelio. Well, this place has already been cleared out, I think, so I think we're good to just continue. Wait a second. Revelio. There's just gold laying about. I should follow the treasure to find that Niffler. Indeed. Revelio. These coins must have come from Miss Coffee's Niffler. Sounds like there's some more in theory down there. Yeah. More treasure. Rococo must have been through here. Accio. Revelio. More Ashwinders. More Ashwinders, I say. Valio. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, missed one. Valio. Come here, buddy. I hope I get to keep this one, too. Everything's I hope Miss Coffee appreciates this. And we can just go through here to get out.
like a place right out of a storybook. My poor Rococo. Hey, Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? I'm keeping him. Actually, he's taken a liking to me, so I've decided to keep him. What? He's mine! Oh, I should have faced my fears and gone after him myself. Indeed. Yes, you should have. You should have. I, 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 I can't believe Ever that this happened. Just take care of him. He will never love anyone else. Never. May you never have a moment's peace with him. <laughs> and I can't you talk to you anymore about buying things. All right. It's just like what happened with that other guy. That wasn't I hope you didn't have anything important. Maybe it was. <laughs> yeah, I hope that other guy didn't have anything important. So there's a couple items there that you can only get from vendors, right? And I don't have those items, and I don't know if he was the vendor that has them. Alright, let's see here. Cursed Tomb Treasure. Sacking uh, Selwyn. Well, let's head over here. Down there, huh? Revelio. How do we get down there? Revelio. That's where I need to be. Open the, the locked chest under the old manor in Manor Glen. Who lived here, I wonder? Confringo. Accio. Confringo. Accio. All right, so... Maybe if we just follow the uh, path up there, huh? Alohomora. Oh, jeez. Stupid. 
Stupefy. Using Mandrake against an enemy. Gotcha. There you go. Stupefy. Confringo. It's set. Neo. What's this? Okay. Revelio. Revelio. Take that. Rebellio. Accio. Confringo. Accio. 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 What did I do? That's for you. Accio. Rebellio. Suppose maybe that locked chest, I don't know. Crud. Revelio. Looks like there are three of them. This way. Oh, there's a fourth. Stupefy. Accio. Incendio. Confringo. Ouch. Confringo. Slime an airborne enemy with the sendo. I panicked. Sorry. Revelio. Is there no... There's that one. Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh Levioso, Descendo. Levioso. Descendo. Crud. Incendio. Incendio. Fringo. Stupefy. Levioso. I got him. Mr. Arutherin. I can hear the infury that Athena summoned uh, drawing closer. It has been an honor to work for Gringotts as a uh, curse breaker. I should have noticed that Hathana could no longer be trusted. She was uh, my uh, partner, after all. I hope you will forgive me for falling short in that regard. Please tell my family that I died fighting. Fotine. How sad. Revelio. What's this? Oh, right. We can weld in there, right? I can't... Yeah. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, section on the overall map behind a waterfall by what looks like a Merlin trial that requires some platforming. I have to use Flipendo to arrange some stones to look like this. Might be interesting to see where this leads. All right, what's this? Confringo. Confringo. 
Hup. Where am I now? Take those. I'll take those. Okay, so... That map. I'm thinking it's over here. Inventory. This one, right? Looks like there's a bit of a swamp here and this goes out to the sea. River splits up there and okay. There's another river there. Map. Over here. This has got to be the place. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Tomb of Treachery. Earth, is this leading me? Revelio. Revelio. Gringotts Bank. To Thana and Photine, our clients have indicated that one of uh, their ancestors may have been entombed with part of the uh, family fortune. Uh, they are concerned that the tomb may be cursed. Please go to the location on the map, uh, break whatever curses you may find, and retrieve my val any valuables on behalf of the family. You may write to me personally should you need anything. Good luck. Grilko Wuthering, Head Curse Breaker, Green Goss Gots Bank. Revelio. All right, what's this way then? Grab that. Revelio. I feel like there's a fair bit going on down there. I think it's just loot this way, so. Huh. Revelio. Revelio. I think that's all of it. Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a tomb. Revelio. Revelio. That probably opens. Oh, 
Wait, maybe not. Not according to the map, Revelio. So what do we have here then? Mr. Wuthering, if you do not make it, I urge you to look through all of uh, mine and Thana's uh, curse-breaking assignments. If Thana's uh, betrayal today is any indication, I suspect that she may have been keeping a portion of all the treasure we found and only reporting a fraction of it to, to Green Dots. Fourteen. There's nothing else this way, right? No? I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Confringo. Oh crud. Incendio. That was weird. Why is this door locked? Revelio. Okay, so we came in from this way. Confringo. Didn't he? Must be something. Incendio. Whoa! Revelio. Okay, so I gotta get up there. Whoops. Accio. What is this? Mr. Wuthering. I'm writing to you in the hopes that, that when uh, you look for me and cannot find me, you, you will know why. We found the tomb where, where uh, we were to retrieve uh, the family's treasure, but the moment uh, we did so, Athena animated the bodies that lay within and turned them on me. I suspected that she wants to keep the treasure for herself. I will try to hold off the Infury as best I can. I don't think you did very well, did you? Dang old thing. Revelio. Revelio. Brilliant. The first need piece these. of the puzzle. I'll need that. Not sure what this here is all about. Revelio. Interesting. Accio. Accio. Revelio. So there's nothing in there for any of that, huh? Confringo. Confringo. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. This door here. One down, two to go. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Can I grab more than one at a time? Lumos. Lumos. No, I can't grab more than one at a time. This here. Lumos. Revelio. Inferior. What are they 
great. Petrificus Totalis. Oh, crud. Incendio. To Fringo. Launch an enemy into a destructible object with the pulse out. Destructible objects. Like that one. The pulse out. The pulse out. Come on. Come on. The pulse out. Guardian level Yosa. That there. Pulso. Alright, that one worked. There we go. Incendio. Let's hope you stayed it this time. on the map. Revelio. Revelio. So speaking of staying dead, do you know uh, what the uh, uh, real um, uh, well, what, what a necromancer is really meant to be doing? A lot of people think that a necromancer uh, raises the dead and, uh, to, to uh, uh, kill the living, right? But the real work of a necromancer is to keep the living living and make sure making sure that the dead remain dead. Alright, let's see here. Confringo. 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 Revelio. Confringo. Confringo. Revelio. Revelio. Alright, so this. I need to use Flipendo on this. Right? Now. Let's see here. This one. Uh, probably. Okay, I don't know where. Flipendo. Alright, Flipendo. 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 Glad to have got something after Eureka. Alright. Well, I guess now we gotta get out of here. This way. We haven't been this way yet. Confringo. So I think that's it then. Well, there goes my energy drink for the day. So, where to next? Looks 
like this place here. Let's just fast travel our way there. Flu flame. Flu 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 flame flu flu flame flu flu flu. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, my eye. Oh, wow. I am so stuffed right now. Like, stuffed up my nose, right? <laughs> what did you stuff in your nose? Uh, my nose is stuffed. <laughs> With boogers. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Something must be done about the vile thieves who've infested the area. What's up your is nose? Everything all right, madam? Olivier, madam Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Clagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trait. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Savannah Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. Who is Salvanus Selwyn? Salvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. Uh, where is the castle? Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. And what are they doing is that's so terrible? What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy. Almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I might be able to help. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. Is that the castle there? Return to... I've already killed Selwyn, haven't I? Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated <laughs> Selwyn? Merlin's beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. I need a bigger reward. Surely the safety of Cragcroft is worth more. I'd hate for the Ashwinders to know who offered a bounty on Selwyn. What a snipe! <laughs> no sense of honor. You're worse than the Ashwinders. Fine. I can give you a bit more, but our business is finished. It's time for Cragcroft to live in peace. Take your money and get out. I may be glad to be rid of Salwyn, but I don't want to see your face around Cragcroft. Hear ye, hear ye! I declare myself new mayor of Cragcroft. Obey me! Zap, zap, zap! <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So, uh... Let's see, challenges. Uh... Combat. We've completed this one here and this one. Cool. Inventory. There's a bunch of notes that I found in the tombs there. Collections. I can't be bothered with this right now. Let's see here, map. Hogwarts map. Uh, 
Okay. So how are we for gear then? We got plenty of slots left. Okay. Map. Nope. Quests. Astronomy. To the astronomy tower. Let's see here, my Mountain Dew. guess I gotta wait. Alright, because we can't do astronomy during the day, can we? <laughs> and your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Hey, he looks frightened. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Focus, right stick. Focused. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. You can even see condensation on everyone's breath. That's cool. Oh, it's a nice hello. little touch. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Thank you, how That's kind. That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the right. telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Reading. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. All the good that did. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Our meat thinks he knows everything. 
Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. What just happened to the sky? Huh. Revelio. Astronomy telescope. <laughs> this telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. You can use a telescope to look at the stars, but you need an endoscope to look at Uranus. <laughs> the constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. This was his old there telescope. We go. Looks practically brand new. Find a mitt on the lower decks. A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be. Professor Shaw, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? I noticed you dismissed the divination. Why? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. <laughs> what are astronomy tables? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you for your insights. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Down there, huh? The perfect hey, stink point. pants. Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. So the telescope came with a catch. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But... Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. I know how to use a telescope. I suppose I could join you. All right. I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? <sighs> the table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. 
Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. I suppose this way. Hmm. A little foreboding. Confringo. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not Unless you have allergies. Tidy, as I expected. And asthma. What's this? Confringo. Confringo. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Many. Oh, no, not this close to the school, Emmett. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Simple enough, it's a liar. A Lyra. I was Libra? right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Ha, <laughs> if you say so. Whatever you say, Ahmed. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever uh -huh. seen one, it's you. Oh, and uh -huh. about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You're welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. God, I hope not. The Vatican It's a shame we can't go around a Vada cadaver and everybody, like like all the NPCs. <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view! I have of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. All right. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Uh huh. Okay. So let's see your challenges. That would be. Yeah, this is the centaur thing I was looking for. Astronomy tables. Gotcha. Quests. Let's see here. Find the location of the second keeper trial. <laughs> okay, well, let's go meet with Nadia. I'm not sure how I. All right, I want to check something here. All right, so we have... I'm pretty sure we have everything we need to collect those chests. The field guides, the Merlin trials, the ancient magic hotspots, the balloons, the demigod statues are done, the astronomy tables, the landing platforms, and infamous foes. Well, some of those infamous foes uh, may require... Uh, the highlands. Is that count of all of this or like what I think it does some of those infamous foes may require quest stuff being done right Hogsmeade we got quests here in Hogsmeade and in the world apparently oh that might just be this thing here popping up okay well let's go see uh, Natty where is she 
No, oh, right here. Just take a nap in these flowers. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Natty. Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. So what do you want me to do? Why did he Mrs. Pickle? That horrible man? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I'm sure your son he is fine. He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering. As he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Why do I look so happy about this? Never mind. <laughs> what can you tell me about Harlow? Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. Oh, why would Harlow have killed your husband? What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Where are you, Archie? That way. Can't use my broom. I guess we gotta make this trek on foot. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Ah, yes, we've been here before. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his Revelio. own. Revelio. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Revelio. Ah, Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. Rebellion. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. His footsteps Wolves. look like he is back. jumping. Oh, jeez. Oh. 
Incendio. Confringo. Confringo. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look at Revelio. What have we here? Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Halo, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. These Halo almost look like rabbit saw. tracks. I hope he didn't see Halo kill his father. He would never overcome it. Revelio. Revelio. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio what? again. I've always said that travel Revelio. and multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think Rebellion. those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. Whoops. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Ashwinders. Taking in children now. Levitate Nashwinder soldier to disrupt to their expulsion spell. As I feared, they have Achi. Be on your guard. There can be no mistake. Soldier. Levioso. 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 Defendo. Stupefy. Levioso. Defendo. Revelio. They got what they deserved. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Uh, slice an Ashwinder duelist while they're casting Reducto. Use a Mandrake against an enemy. Daddy, do you know the additional illusionment charm? Hush now. Good for you. Duelist. Rebellion. Rebellion. Let's see here. Uh. Natty, stop that. Yeah. 
Okay, we're not getting through there. There's a scout. I understand. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. Patronicus to Alice. You're an assassin. Patrificus Totalis! Revelio. More stuff down there, is there? Jeez. Alright, well. Revelio. There's nothing up here, right? You alright, Natty? Okay, so... Archie is below us. Okay. Revelio. There's nothing over there. Wigan Weld. Okay. Duelist. Slice an Ashwinder to list while they're using their reducto care. <sighs> Katrine Hegarty. The scout. Scout. Revelio. Just them, huh? <clears throat> this gun doesn't look well, does he? Petrificus Totalis! Petrificus- Oh, shite! Expelliarmus! Levioso! Where'd you go? Trego! Stupefy! Levioso! You're going to regret that. The Pulso! This is Lulis. Scout. You're easier to spot. Levioso. Ranger. Stupefy. Levioso. You've made a grave mistake. Ranger. Levioso. Levioso. Flipendo. Pick up our loot. We came in from this side, right? Yes. Revelio. Interesting. So we can't pick up this one. Revelio. Can't get in there. Can you be quiet, please? I'm trying to rescue you. Can't get in there. Can't get in here. That's a toilet. Right, what's up here then? Revelio. Revelio. Alright, let's go back this way. I'm gonna go down the stairs that were over here. Revelio. 
Revelio. Revelio. So there's nothing over here, huh? Nobody can help you. Archie? Archie Bickle? How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad <laughs> to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Wait here. I want to make sure the rest of the place is clear. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, there's just two stair sets of stairs to go down there. Gotcha. Okay, Archie, let's go. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Hey, Miss Pickle. Archie, you're here. Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother. Oh, mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Philbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Are all children uh, in games voiced by the same voice actor? Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming <sighs> after you. He's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Are you going to turn yourself inside out like that house elf did? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Well... Oh! Okay. Let's see here, quests. 
in the shadow of the study. Meet Sebastian outside the Slytherin common room. Let's see here. Outside the Slytherin common room. Quad courtyard. Whoops. Yes, yeah, the lower grand staircase. I think. Revelio. 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 You can hear it. That's the gotta be their house chest, right? Revelio. Revelio. There it is. Revelio. Kelpie statue! This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Oh. oh. See ya. Yeah? I'll take a nap on the floor, I suppose. You're here. You're here. Brilliant. Uh, indeed. Sebastian? I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Give me five minutes he's alone with him. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Ominous. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A uh, scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found a secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. 
Aren't you curious about what's inside? I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here! These braziers grant these? access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are far better than one. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Let's go. Come on. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Lumos. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look away. Repairo. Repairo. Rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Revelio. Revelio. Knock to a gaunt's note. One of five. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have uh, written to my brother. He knows uh, He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there's uh, no uh, straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with uh, many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and that and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. A journal entry signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me. Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Not at all. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... never mind. There's Rebellion. no forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Oh, yeah, the door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Lumos. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Revelio. Slytherin lock. Who lit that? Lumos. Lumos.
Revelio. Confringo. Confringo. Lumos. Salalar Slytherin buried his scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Noctua Gaunt. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Okay. So I think to open these gates, we need to fiddle with these. Dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Moon and snake. Simple enough. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice work. What do we have up here? Interesting. Uh, Incendio. Lumos. If Noctua Gaunt's note three of five. I failed the dial, and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent. But I must find a way around for my family's sake. Uh, we should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there is more to our legacy than meets the eye. Back to a gaunt. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she right, was so my favorite that? person in the world for it. Let's head back up here. Lumos. So it wouldn't make much sense if this wait. Okay. Let's inspect this door over here. Cow, cat, pig, not sure what. And something that almost looks like a number four. Another gate. This one. That one. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. It's just beyond here. There's another gate with oh extraordinary this journey is painful but rewarding i shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder salazar slytherin intended more than uh, in uh, salazar slytherin intended more than what we've become i know it noctua gaunt noctua references See, yeah. painful and arduous challenges but also rewards painful that's the part I'm wary of. Revenge. All I know is rewards. Keep going. Uh -huh. Lumos. All right, let's see here. A sideways Taurus symbol. It looks like some uh, pyramids. Y'all wait here. I'll be back. This way. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Probably that one, I think. There it goes. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. Lumos. I 
spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. Revalio. troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Note five of five. <laughs> I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way, way forward is uh, with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge I, indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I, I invited him here. Now if he uh, looks for Ermi alone, uh, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we, we had parted on better terms. Knock to a gaunt. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This What's wrong with my eyelashes? She died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Lumos. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? I'll ask him. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Sebastian. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I want to learn the Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. you like a masochist. I shan't forget I this. Ready? I'm ready. Crucio! Are you all right? Are you all right? 
right? That pain. It was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Now, in real life, I have a really high pain tolerance, right? So, I can't imagine a Cruciatus curse would actually do much for against me. <laughs> I, might, I might scream like I'm being tickled, honestly. <laughs> Rebellion. Rebellio. Salazar Slytherin's Escriptorium. A secret and a well-protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long-term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Yeah, yeah, you know how like if you pin someone down and then you start tickling them and they start kicking and screaming, uh, that's what's what I imagine would probably happen if I got if someone did the Cruciatus curse on me. <laughs> <laughs> I might even enjoy it. <laughs> Slytherin's spellbook. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? No, it's mine. Finders keepers. Revelio. Revelio. What else do we have? Some stuff up there. Just had a thought. Ominous was born blind, and supposedly it is his wand that leads him around the castle. Would the wand know of all the secrets and everything in the castle? And I suppose if he ever got into trouble of being in the wrong place at the wrong time sort of thing, or somewhere he's not supposed to be, he could just blame it on the wand. See here. Unidentified, identified neck item. You have any idea how long that's been sitting there? And you're drinking it! Hmm. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that uh, Godric's uh, thoughts uh, were aligned with my own, that he understood why the, the uh, caliber of students needed to be exceptional, but he ha has fallen a prey to the uh, ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was uh, furious when I expressed my uh, displeasure at his thoughts on the matter. Thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the, the, the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with a heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who, who shares my views, a, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that others have so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. It's the Chamber of Secrets. The Basilisk in the Chamber of Secrets. Revelio. So that's all that's here. This looks like one of those desks that we use to identify things, eh? Sebastian? What do you think? 
Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. Way ahead of you. Breathtaking. How do we get out? I don't want to I leave. That might be the way out. But I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Okay. So, watching Ominous come up those stairs with the wand like that, le le leading him, to remind me of something. You shouldn't be holding the doors for blind people. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. And now, now that may sound like like like, like, uh, like 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 you're being mean to the blind people, right? But remember, they can't see the door. They, they they you're holding the door open, and they're looking for the door, and they walk right through, and they're still looking for the door. Now they're lost, and they don't know where they are, and they can't find the door. You know what I mean? Are you guys coming or no? I'm just gonna stay here. All right. Ominous. About your arms. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear right now never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your arms, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. What was that? This is ominous, right? It looks like he saw a bug and stepped on it. That is weird. All right, well, I think that's that for that. Quests, let's see here. Find the location of the second... Alright, that one. Well. Give me a second here. Get my Mountain Dew. Alright, well. That's going to do it for this episode, I suppose. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on uh, uh, um, the more stuff that I'm doing. You know, stuff. We all like stuff. Till then, have a good day.